Pisces, hi. So this is going to be a reading for August 9th through the 15th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Pisces. What's going on? Nothing, apparently. Let's see. nice the overall energy for the reading the sun card this is the happiest card in the deck so either you're there either you're gonna get there either way you can't escape this energy uh, uh there are ways though we'll see we'll see when we clarify in the recent past the six of swords the judgment card the temperance card wow change lots of change um within yourself of course and then outside of yourself I kind of get the sense that you try to run away from this change. Like the universe was kind of shoving you into a corner there and you may have been like, eh, I'll do it later. You know, I'm a little busy right now. I'll like, yes, you may have taken that path of looking into yourself more and changing a little bit, but eh, there was more to it. There was a little more and you kind of later you know um in the current situation ten of cups five of swords queen of swords interesting somebody's thinking that they're happy now i don't know if you noticed what i just said uh there's a key word in there somebody's thinking that they're happy that's why it's shown up here as being you know deceptive this whole thinking situation about happiness happiness is felt you know, uh, somebody's here playing this super duper, super happy kind of card of look at me. I'm so happy because I think I'm happy. Uh, I'm not feeling it yet, but hey, I'm thinking it. Um, so that's enough. So I don't know if that's you or somebody tied up to you. Since it's your reading, it could be you. Chances are it is you. Um, there's a way of looking at happiness that's a little bit mm, not that great. You know, um, you, you believe that if it comes from the mind, then that's all there is to it. And it is what it is because I said so, because I thought so kind of thing. Ah, I can't wait to clarify that one. In the immediate future, five of cups, two of pentacles, two of swords. Wow. All right. So the past is kind of calling you back. You know, you may have bypassed it at some point. You may have been like, I don't have time right now. You know, I'm busy. Uh, it's coming up it's forcing you again to go in that direction and i feel like there's a lot of confusion on your side around that like what do i gotta look at what do i deal with uh how do i start where do i go you know so let's see let's clarify uh let me clarify the sun King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, the Devil. There are so many uh, limited beliefs in this reading already that it's 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 not even funny. Uh, there's a belief here that as long as everything's fine in the material world, as long as I have that stability, whatever that means to you, you don't have to be a millionaire, you know, but enough so that you're happy. Uh, it kind of drops in sustainability, this belief, because it feels like, oh, I don't believe that anymore, you know? And yeah, I can be stable. Yeah, I can have all that and that and the other, but that doesn't bring happiness, true happiness, you know? There is a sense, a almost like a dilemma, almost like, what are you building here, you know? If, yeah, you're concerned about all of that and you're putting it all in place and it is working out, does it make you truly happy? Because there's a sense here that maybe not, you know, maybe that's not happiness. Maybe I thought it was, and maybe I'm programmed to do all of that still, but it still doesn't bring me happiness, you know? There's a search for happiness here, a deep search for happiness. And it called you out in your past there, but you know, this whole look into yourself kind of thing, because that's where it is, that's where it starts. 
that sense of happiness. Let's see the um, judgment card in the recent past. Ace of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Page of Swords. Okay, so this is the initiation part into that whole idea or this whole notion of let me build my material world. And if I get on top of that, and if I'm all set in that department, then everything should be fine. I'll get that out of, out of the way. I could even reach happiness if I have that. And then I'll see. Um, so that's definitely the beginning of that. And I feel like you took that. You, you went for it. You know, you were shy a little bit at first, but it developed into something pretty good. Pretty the, the notion of I got this on my own. Yes. Hopefully it wasn't mistaken for happiness to begin with, because I feel like you're kind of discovering that it isn't, you know, um, for the temperance card, you get the 10 of swords, the eight of cups, the three of pentacles. Okay. So maybe opening yourself up more to partnerships, to collaborations, to help, to even asking for help, you know, um, yeah, it feels like you took on quite a lot until you got to that point of, I can't do this anymore. I can't do it on my own. And there's partnership coming in to help the situation. And it does. It feels like it's hard for you to open up in that direction, but you do eventually. And partnership or collaboration could be meaning even you asking for help, help from your guides. It doesn't have to be, oh, somebody's in my life. I got this. They're my, you know, partner in crime. No. Uh, I mean, yeah, most of the times, but it doesn't mean that necessarily. Let me... Let me get to this energy here that's showing up. Let me get to the Ten of Pentacles. Ooh. Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles, the Temperance card. Uh, you're definitely getting into a place of confusion, conflict within yourself. You definitely had some beliefs that you built basically your whole life upon. And you're getting to that point where it's like, is that really how I saw it all my life? Is that really what I did all my life? There's a little bit of a, a struggle here because it doesn't make sense to you. Maybe it did. Maybe you didn't even think about it. Maybe you just took it on this belief of I'm good in my life. I'm stable. I'm financially independent. I'm good. I'm happy. You know, maybe you didn't even think about it. But now definitely there's a uh, not only a pull, but a big ass confusion around this aspect. Um, let's do the Five of Swords. Four of Cups, the Sun, the King of Cups. Because at the end of that tunnel, you know, there's always happiness that we're seeking. And in the material world, everything has to ha make sense. Everything has to be put in a certain order and everything. Inside yourself where happiness is felt, where happiness is starting, there is no certain place. There is no certain time. There is, it has nothing to do with how things look outside. So that's where people get it, you know, confusing a lot of the times. Um, there's definitely a recognition on your side. Like I've been fooling myself my whole life or, or something to that extent. And no, it's not the case. You believe something that doesn't mean you've been fooling yourself. You believed in it. Uh, it just doesn't work for you anymore. Now that you really take a look at it, you know, Outside material stuff is not going to bring you what can be found only inside or from the inside that starts from the inside. Queen of Swords, King of Wands, Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands. All right. Well, there's um, there's definitely a, another energy working with you right now. In what department? I have no idea. There's passion on their side. There's a little bit of closed off kind of energy on your side. It kind of looks like a collaboration of some sort. So it could be somebody that's helping you out through all of this that you're dealing with. Um, and there's communication at stake. And there's a little bit of things that you're hearing in this that you don't like. Because I see resistance in there on your part. Like whatever is happening is happening for you to figure things out. For helping you out, basically. And you're like, yeah, but I don't like what they said there because who knows? Uh, th that's important because if it triggers you or if you really don't like what somebody says, that, that's really important. You know, that's that talks to something inside of you. 
that you don't want to deal with, you don't want to look at. Uh, five of Cups in the immediate future, High Priestess, the Hangman, the Six of Cups. All of this was brought by a soul connection into your life. It all started from there, this process of yours that you're going through. Now, I don't know if the soul connection is still in your life or not. It started somewhere within a connection you had with somebody. Um, this whole change, this whole transformation that you've been going through. Maybe you didn't see it at the time. Um, maybe you're not, you know, putting those dots together even now, but you will. It's all tied up to a soul connection that was supposed to be in your life to lead the way towards this um, change. For the Two of Pentacles, you get the Five of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, the Strength card. Yeah, trying to deal with that past. I feel like the past is kind of ambushing you here and it's like, uh, what do I do with it? How do I deal with it? You got this. You know how to deal with it. It's like a learning process. You know, when things from the past come on up for you to address, it's a learning curve. You'll get there. You're just kind of starting to, to dive in it. Uh, let's do the Two of Swords. So I get the confusion here. Page of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, Three of Cups. Okay. It, it almost feels like you're confusing this energy with, what does this mean? Why is this coming up? Does it mean that we're meant to be together again? Or what does it mean? I don't see it like that on this side of the fence, basically. I see it as things popping up, tied up to a connection, as I said. Not necessarily, that's your human mind taking over. Like, does this mean that that? Uh, no. I mean, it could, who the hell knows. But what's like front line here is the energy that's coming in for you to take a look at. Because you missed some healing steps in there. You know, as I told you when the reading started, I see you kind of trying to bypass certain things, certain lessons, which were opened up to you at that time. It is what it is. You didn't see them. You can see them now. You know, uh, where it leads and what's going to happen, that's not important. You know, that's, you know, it'll reveal itself in time. But it's definitely popping back up for you so that you can take a deeper look at things. See what the universe has, Nine of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Cups. It's your closure. I feel like you never really had closure. You were still carrying a lot of things from the situation, a lot of pain still, and never really got your closure. And it all turns, this energy kind of turns into your favor, basically. It's, it's, it's coming in for you to work with, with the energy, not the person necessarily. And then it's turning into, I'm done. I'm completely done here, you know? Interesting reading. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.